Hello and welcome to this lecture. In the previous lecture you learned how to insert a new node as a head node and in this lecture you will learn how to insert a new node in between two other nodes of a singly linked list. Let's take an example of a singly linked list. Let's say we have a list with two nodes, the head node with the data 10 and the second node with the data 20. Their positions are numbered starting from 0. So we have the head node at position 0 and the second node at position 1. What we are trying to do here is to insert a new node with the data 15 such that 15 is placed at position 1 in between 10 and 20. So the next of 10 needs to point to 15 and the next of 15 needs to point to 20. Let's see how to do that. The first thing we need to identify is the position at which our new node is to be inserted at. We see here that the new node is to be inserted at position 1. So we first need to traverse the list till we reach position 1. Let's do that. So once we traverse the list to position 1, we see that from the previous node, which is the node at position 0, the next of that particular node needs to point to our new node. Now in a singly linked list, once we reach the node at position 1, we cannot go back to the node at position 0. So before we advance to the node at position 1, we need to store the details of the node at position 0 in a temporary node. Once we do that, we can remove the connection from 10 to 20 and then establish this connection from 10 to 15 and the next of 15 now points to the node at position 1 and that completes the connection. So their positions now gets changed, the node with the data 15 becomes the node at position 1 and the node with the data 20 becomes the node at position 2. Let's take a look at the program logic. We need to traverse the list till position 1. And then we need to store the details of the previous node which is the node at position 0. And then from the next of the previous node we make a connection to the new node and from the next of new node we make a connection to the node at position 1. So now their positions get changed, the new node becomes the node at position 1 and the node that was earlier at position 1 becomes the node at position 2. So that's the end of this lecture, do give an attempt at solving this problem. I'll see you in the next lecture where we write a program in Python for it. Thank you.